Hey everyone, Mitchell Gould here, and in today's video, we're going to connect Unbounce with the WordPress domain using the Unbounce plugin in WordPress. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So you're going to log into Unbounce, and then on the left hand side, you're going to go into the domain section. And then you're going to click the connect a WordPress domain button. So I'll click that. And then you're going to add in your domain here. So you want to make sure it matches your URL setup in your WordPress website. So I'm going to go into my WordPress website. And then if you go to settings, general in that section, you'll see your WordPress address URL and your site address. And you can see here it's HTTPS colon um, Mitchell Gould. So I don't have www here. So you want to copy this exactly when you're setting it up in Unbound. So I'm going to just copy that and then go here and I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm going to click create a WordPress domain. And then I'm going to uninstall the Unbounce WordPress plugin. So I'll click that. And then it brought me into the plugin section on my WordPress website. I was already logged in, but it'll ask you to log in into your admin of your website. So in the plugins, you can see it, show, it pulled up Unbounce landing pages here. So I'm going to click Install Now. And then I'm going to click Activate. And so it's been installed, it's been activated. And then on the left hand side, you should see Unbounce pages here. If you don't see it, just refresh your page. So I'm going to click that and it's gonna bring me into the Unbounce section. So I'm gonna go back into Unbounce now, and I'm gonna click Next. And then this is just a reminder that you gotta change the URL after this is set up. So I'll click Next, and then I'll click Close. So, and then I'm gonna go back into Unbounce here, and I'm gonna click Authorize with Unbounce. Make sure that that is authorized. And then I'll go back into Unbounce. I'll refresh the page. And you can see it says Working with WordPress. So I've successfully connected WordPress with Unbounce. Now, to make sure that your websites are using your WordPress domain, you're gonna to go to the Pages section. So we have this landing page here, but it's still using the Unbounce domain. So I'm gonna click this to go inside this landing page. And then at the top, I'm gonna to click the URL. So we can select the domain now. So I'm gonna click Mitchell Gould, which I just connected. And then you can adjust the page path if you want. So I'm just going to call that LP for landing page here and click save URL, click OK. So now our landing page is using the WordPress domain. So I'm going to open it up in a new tab. And you can see it says mitchellgoolcom slash LP. So then I'm going to republish everything after making those changes to just make sure everything's published live. So you successfully connected Unbounce with WordPress. If you run into any issues, I'll put this link for troubleshooting the WordPress plugin if for some reason it's not activating for you in Unbounce. So you can go through here, go through some of the common things to look at. And if you have any issues with that, you can also connect it using the CNAME method. So going into your domain name provider and um, adding in a new CNAME record. I'm gonna make a video on that next. So I'll put a link for that in here too. Just in case the WordPress plugin isn't working for you, you can also do that method, which is a little more manual, but still pretty easy to do. So let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching and have a great day.